I remember when I was in college, my college basketball coach, he gave us some advice and he told us, he said, um, when you don't understand the plays on the board, you look at the big picture, break it down and you rebuild it. And as you rebuild it, you then understand why each player is in the position he's in because you put him there. Well, I never really got that concept with basketball, but about a year and a half later, I remember I was at home, I was dead broke. I had just cast in all of my change at Kroger, um, just filled up my gas tank. So I'm dead broke at this time. And I, I watched uh, TV and I saw Tyler Perry on the TV. And I was, um, I'm scraping, I'm looking for change on the floor. I'm just trying to bring y'all to the memory of where I was at at this time in my life. But um, I'm looking for change on the floor. I see Tyler Perry and he basically was talking about how he was homeless basically at 26 years old. But he wasn't homeless because he was lazy and just didn't have any drive. He was nearly homeless, but he was homeless because he was crazy enough to believe his own dream. And I was 22 at the time, so I'm like, man, I got four more years to be in a position to try to, you know, believe in myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep on doing what I'm doing. So what I did was I said, that's my squiggly line. I don't understand that play. How did a man that was homeless at 26 years old become one of the richest men in the world? So I did what Coach told him to do. I broke that play down. I looked at Tyler Perry's life and I went to his, his Twitter. I went to the YouTube, I went to Facebook and I watched his documentaries and I saw how he think. And, and I did that with a few different people. And the most common thing that I saw between all millionaires were they never stopped working. So I basically said, I'm gonna do what he did and work like a millionaire, grind like a millionaire. And that's how I came up with the concept of millionaire grind. <laughs>